Yeah, so, uh, you know, is the LAN, does the LAN affect players or does, does the LAN affect my performance? It almost 100% does to every player, I would argue. I would be interested to hear anyone argue against that uh, and what their points are, but from my experience, man, playing at a LAN, I never play 100% optimally. Never. Viber said he's very good at LAN. Really? But what are his points there? I would like to hear from that. He said his motivation is next level at LAN. Oh, okay, okay, from a motivational perspective, okay. But no, I'm talking like strictly how he's playing. Maybe the motivation is all he needs there to play well? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's his issue. Yeah, his issue is he just needs motivation. Which, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I guess for me, the motivation is always there, so it's not really a factor. Viper has never lost a land turn. Really? Is that a, is that a true uh, is that a true stat right there? That's pretty massive. If that is. Are you sure you're going across all history, not just a recent history? That's pretty. That's pretty cool if that is the case. But make sure you're not just taking like recent history into consideration. Ever lost a land team game tournament? Okay. Has he lost a land one v one tournaments? Harold Uh, Princess Frozen. Thanks for the tier one for 20, 25 months, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, first time for everything, of course. <laughs> we'll see. I don't think Leary's gonna let Viper win this one. He lost Clan Masters? That was team game, though. Will there be meet and greet for Heidenberg? I, I don't think there will be, no. Uh, what's the Sid Bohemians, eh? Yeah, Bohemians. Let's just go for fast scouts here. I, I should have already been making them. I don't know what took me so long, but okay. But okay. I just get my walls down. I, I, I like Empire Wars. It's it's a nice little uh, quick quick games. All right, just while that's cool. More months will come. Thanks, mate. Bill Wolf on Baggins and sits here for ten months. Really appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate all the subs, guys. Our sub can't drop, by the way, to 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 its normal area after the subathon. So we're officially uh, past that one month mark. And now we can start working our way back up there, slowly but surely, with a more reasonable sub goal. Everyone, all of NEC threes. Yep, he did. Was there, has there been NEC four or just NEC three? Just three, right? No four yet. Bro, Red Bull caught up. <laughs> Red Bull passed NEC. Expected, obviously. It's big company versus one person, and Microsoft sponsoring. Just three, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, looks like he's fully walled, so we can obviously stop committing on scouts. Range, we can go back. Uh, it's a shame that this villager will get hit now. Just hit him. Oh, he just wants to commit to this one, okay. Interesting. Ah, so the pathing was just really, really poor by me. I chose the wrong, the wrong path to. Sorry, what was that? What was that comment? I misheard it. All right, cool. Steel and Banks, they set a prime for three months. Really appreciate it. Uh, Jack Whitson, next set tier 1 from 9 months. A bald head would be a bit more intimidating at a LAN. Oh, that's a big pathing issue. What happened right there? That's why you have to always spam formation. That's actually why. Okay. Oh, is my gold gonna get harassed? I think my gold will be fine. I'm just gonna go double stable here. Behemoths can be dangerous, but... I think he will try the unique unit and he'll be disappointed. <laughs> that's my prediction in this game. Unique unit is quite bad. Am I fully walled up top? Yep, looks like it's good. Let's make some more scouts. I can, I can clean I can clean this all up here in a second. In a, in a hot minute, it's all cleared up. Damn it, why are you good at this game? That was a really smart play. He saw me adding scouts and he's just like, you know what? I'm out. And now I just look like a fool for adding scouts. I really want to catch the army before he turns to crossbow. 
He can do ballistic. Uh, he can do chemistry crossbow and castle. That might be an option for him. Yeah. That might be a more tempting option than unique units. So I have to kind of. Uh, yeah, that's a good fight for me still though. I'll take it. Alright, that, that's the whole reason of adding those scouts is actually to get that clean up in time. Very good. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine. You know what? I have a forward gold. I'm gonna go siege shop. Forward. Siege shop forward. Siege shop forward dies to castle drop. Thought that a castle drop. We still don't know if he's gonna go unique in or not. Uh, that's awkward. I wanted to have the wood for a TC. He made a siege workshop instead. A little bit awkward there. <clears throat> Two range. Okay. Ooh, university. So he's easily, easily, easily gonna go for the chemistry crossbows here 100% now. We can all agree on that. And they're gonna be dangerous, man. The chemistry crossbows are not an easy thing to deal with. So I have to see what I can do against that. I'm kind of happy I went for a defensive siege workshop now. Mm. All things considered. House wall all over the place there. Defensive C shot was a great decision on my end, and you know what? I should continue making these great decisions. And that should be the wall up this side with houses. That would be A, a good way to not get house, and B, a very good way to. And do I greed for imp? Oh, that seems so bad. Two forward stones. This could be decent though. I don't know. <laughs> Greedy imp. Tempting, man. It is tempting. there yeah, it's tempting to go for fast then it's still not what Franks want to do usually but can be a really good counter to the chemistry crossbows here maybe I'm respecting them too much though he hasn't even got chemistry yet he got ballistics first I imagine yeah yeah makes sense What would fast give you? Cavalier armor? Yeah, yeah, just armor. Cavalier armor. I mean, I'm not fast I'm mean, just 3 TC mini boom, buying time. And he's booming as well. I don't know if he's gonna go all in as well. And he's gonna add barracks now, so I, I, I would go for it. I would try this out. Yeah, there's one thing I need to do though, and that is actually make sure I'm full house well though. At least on the sides that I can't actually risk fighting on. Okay. Uh, pretty sure it's really obvious that I'm up to imp now because of the score. But I'm not really too worried about that. I think even if he knows I'm up to imp, I don't think he can necessarily do a whole lot about it. Oh, well. That's fine. It'd be interesting to see whether he chooses to One advance here or not. Would be really surprised if he chooses to go inside. Yeah, he chooses to go outside. We're gonna prepare a cannon in this uh, a mangonel in this siege workshop. Yeah. House wall on the top side for this exact reason. And we're just gonna prepare a mangonel in that uh, area. So right now it's uh, actually been pretty solid on defense. So far, so good. I 
Okay, so there's actually a real danger that he runs in here, yeah. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, there's a real danger that he does that. For that reason, we gotta go back. Yeah, so we made it to M. You're just gonna die, lady. Sad but true. Oh. Yes, that's a good shot. Oh, ho, ho, that's a really good shot. Uh, I don't have any eco though. I'm dead. Kind of, kind of bad, bad economy for me. Definitely need armor. Need food for that armor though. Yeah. This mistakes are mid. I mean, it's good to make these mistakes now though. Is there any silver lining? Separate is I can't even afford Cavalier. Uh, I'll be able to clear this up pretty nicely though, very soon. Here my main man eight months on Twitch problem and is more on the YouTube. biggest Thanks problem for the great content. The biggest problem for me here, not so much the chemistry crossbows, but the fact that his eco behind this is great because of the free mining. That's what makes Bohemians so strong. I, I said it from the start, Bohemians are the best of the new civ, the better, more meta of the two civs. I'm not, not convinced I can win this anymore. Yeah, his deco behind it would just be too good as well. Pretty poor decision. Really good to try these things out though. So that would definitely never work because honestly, I had a really good setup until I hit imp. Um, so if I can't win it like that, I can never win it this way. Okay, so that's not any. That's not a really good way to deal with the chemistry crossbows. Um, their eco is really strong behind us, so they're always gonna be able to mix in pikes. That would just never work. Hmm, that's a really good. Uh, yeah, that's a really good point. I don't know what to do against chemistry crossbows in general. Then maybe may maybe just skirms, honestly, because chemistry crossbows are really really strong. Um, and castle. Is there any danger to going skirm versus that civ? It doesn't have good cav, so there's that. It has really bad cav, in fact. I think skirm is probably the best thing, yeah. Going skirm versus bohemians, using your good eco there. Knights is usually not the best play, because knights against chemistry crossbows feels pretty bad. Now, Magnus are also bad, because he does an extra damage to them. Well, to be fair, he, d he doesn't have the same range still. So Magnus can work, but not ideal. You have to get lucky with Magnus. Whereas skirms, I think skirms can just hold, generally speaking. Oh, he has enhanced spears. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about the enhanced spears. Wow, so knights are really bad against bohemians. Yeah, I would say never go knights against bohemians then. Or never make your main competition knights. That's a really good thing to, to note.